So what we saw on the other farm were a bunch of the clones indoor in that greenhouse in those pots. And now this is essentially taken out and put into the ground and then the starting phase of the grow. So we're about to hop out now and see what this place is all about. Let's go. What's up y'all? We are out here at the second hemp farm. We are with the supply chain again and we are just gonna see 100 acres of hemp. The greenhouse that you saw where all the plants were coming yeah. from, this is where a lot of the plants went. They're in the ground, they're growing. Uh, we can walk over here, take a look at the plants. And then how do you guys transport the clones? Uh, like put them just, in a truck? They could be as simple as a wagon like this. Okay. They could be a box truck. Uh, okay. Just whatever it takes. What do you know about the soil quality here? Say like compared to other places, you know, soil is a big thing in farming. What would you say is the benefit that you have to your soil? I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can talk about, but you can see there like, you know, it it breaks apart well. It's the type, uh, of, type of ground and then there's soil samples done. And what are you looking for in the soil samples typically? Uh, make sure there's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Like a good balance of everything. Yeah, all those okay. nutrients, nutrients. The pH yeah. is right. Have you noticed your soil quality getting better through the hemp farming at all? I can't really say that we've been doing it long enough. The, only, the one thing that I can definitively say, the only year we had trouble or have had trouble with heavy metals is year one. Okay, okay. Anytime you come back to the same ground, you know, the hemp has pretty well cleaned it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've done research on that too. They went into, a, I think it was Chernobyl and they like hemp plants were growing there. They were finding out that it was uh, cleaning up the soil. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, that's like a big thing. It's like you have some radioactive problems and even the hemp will clean up the soil in that way. So how long would these take to like get finished by the time you're gonna chop them off and cure them then? So those CBG plants that we looked at back at the other farm, yeah. full of flower, they're about a week to 10 days out from harvest. Okay, okay. These will be that far along. They'll be ready They'll be finished, ready to harvest around October 15th. Nice, cropped over, yep. <laughs> yeah, so they'll look like what we just saw, they'll look like that around October 1st, nice. roughly, except nice. for a little bigger. Okay. These, and, little, these little guys will touch each other. And are these all CBD or is this CBG variety as well? All CBD here. Nice, nice. And then are you guys planning on growing any other crops here or just keep it hemp? Uh, for me, it's gonna be hemp. What they wanna do next year will be up to them. So so why, if the incentives for things like corn and soy are so low, then why do so many American farmers go into those crops? Reliability. I mean, you know, they know they're not going to lose money. They know they're going to make a little, which is just where you get into it's such an expensive crop to grow. If either A, you don't do a good job, Mother Nature doesn't cooperate, right, bad right, luck, right. Um, end up with a bad processor who doesn't pay you. You know, there's a whole slew of things that can happen. What are the differences then between like when you're growing your sweet corn and then your hemp right next to it, how differently are you being regulated between the two? Oh, I mean, there's no regulation practically on sweet corn or tomatoes. Would that be then much easier than to do this uh, growing process if you didn't have to deal with like certain strict regulations that you're like, we don't do that for other crops. So why do we need to? I don't know. I think that's just a cost of a new industry to some degree. Um, we'll get there, I yeah. assume. Yeah. Which is kind of the same place we're at with regulation. I mean, we don't know, you know, everybody keeps thinking that all the FDA stuff's going to be, you know, when's it going to be? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, is it yeah, next yeah. year? Is it five years from yeah, now? And that's yeah. going to be such a game changer for everybody yeah. you know all, all three of us we got a farmer we got a processor and we got a retail product guy and it's yep. a game changer for all yeah. of us ultimately like all on all three of our sides like we want to be regulated essentially just like these other organisms like these other industries are you know just normal normal you know yeah. it's like this is and this isn't even normal that's the thing it's like what you're saying about the soil quality and stuff yeah, well, you know what it does for the earth and the environment and if it's a much safer and healthier crop for everybody, right? It's a good plant. Yeah.